What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nathan Skills, and today we're going to be taking a look at the state of the game and I'm going to let them do a lot of the talking because what they had to say was really important. There's a lot of changes coming that you can see in the PTS. So if you guys are on PC and you have the PTS, you guys can already dive into all of this. But for all of you guys on console, you won't have a chance at looking at this. But that's why it's great to watch these news updates that you see on most of our channels from the state of the game. So this is one that I think was really important. They had a lot of really good information. They talked about the new specialization. They talked about a lot of changes coming to gear mods. They talked about not being able to use those blue generic mods anymore. But they're going to be changing having to worry about like red system and red protocol. You just put a red slot and a red slot. But I'll let them get into that. Watch this video. It's a lot of really good information. I tried to cut it down. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hello everyone and welcome to State of the Game number 123 on the 5th of June. I can't believe it's already almost halfway through the year in its entirety. Anyway, like I said before in the intro, I am going to get through the hot topics and all of the news and all that headlines. I need to find a better title for this segment or what will become a segment, probably TLDR or something like that. Um, so just the notes for you before we get into the conversation with Frederick, the weapons guy. If you're here for that news, here it is. So patch 3.1 went live on Monday and included a lot of fix for the NPC issues that we talked about with Drew in the previous state of the game. If you haven't caught that, you can check YouTube or the past broadcasts on Twitch or actually the podcast. I'll push the podcast for you as well. Um, all of the changes can also be found on the forum. The accuracy issues, which you may know as the bullet registration issues or perceived bullet registration issues, we'll talk about that in detail with Frederick soon. Um, they were reported on PS4 and other platforms when using the accuracy platform on the shooting range. That's important. We've investigated this and there is a specific issue that affects the shooting range, the shooting range, specifically the lane when you can measure accuracy. There's an issue where some bullets are basically blocked by the environment in that lane, which causes the accuracy to go down as these bullets then do not hit the targets. Okay, so you're not going crazy. There are, there are issues we, in the shooting range. We have made sure to verify this as an issue only in the shooting range and can confirm this does not happen in other parts of the game. On all platforms. On all platforms. Um, and we'll talk about people asking if that's about the raid and that sort of thing. We'll get to that in a sec, uh, but no. No maintenance on Thursday, tomorrow. It's a Swedish public holiday, but there will be possible maintenance on Friday, so stay tuned for Twitter updates on all of that. Uh, TU4 is now on the PTS. Um, the gunner is on the PTS, and we could, would appreciate if you could test it. There was an issue with the instant unlock of the specialization, um, but is that fixed now or soon? Soon. Soon. Uh, I've already seen a bunch of people testing it because they did the whole specialization journey. It's great that you tested it. Uh, I saw Nick Tu and uh, Streamer House and everyone were playing around with it. So super cool to see that in action. To unlock the gunner once it arrives on the live servers though, um, you will uh, be spent on special field research. This can be tested on the PTS as well. Like I said, people have already done that. The year one pass owners as well will immediately unlock the gunner, but will also be able to do the special field research that unlocks unique cosmetic items. All right, speaking of weapons, Sweet. Frederick, Hi. weapons guy, hey, how you doing? It's now, been a while. Now we get, exactly, we get into the discussion portion of the show. Hopefully all that news has sunk in. Mm -hmm. Sorry if it felt like I went through it really quick. Some people. Oh, we'll revisit some of these. Well, I think we'll revisit all yeah. of them probably mm -hmm. in, some, in some regards, um, but if all you wanted was quick news. Uh, that's it. And if you hate Frederick, you can leave. Aww. I don't know. Why would you, why do you hate fine. Frederick? So rude. Um, <laughs> How rude. So Frederick, for the people who haven't had the yeah. opportunity to see you on stream and all of that, uh, yeah. who are you and what do you do? So uh, my name is Frederick, Frederick Thailander. I work on weapons and RPG specializations, which we'll talk about today, and all the controls and movements and stuff. I'm a designer. Ah, you're a designer. Mm. Mm, okay. Um, how do you feel about the gunner now being visible? I think it's going to be great. And, and all of that. Yeah. It's, uh, how, do, how do you feel? Do you feel differently with the gunner compared to uh, the previous specializations? Because the way people yeah. experience it is different. Well, it's also, we made this when already knowing what a specialization would be and what it would mean for the game. So, like, it's a different thing to make a new specialization once you've already like made the feature of specializations. Not to overlook the changes to specializations in T4 right. and that sort of thing, which we'll go into yeah. details on 
very soon. Um, for people who haven't seen the gunner, I think we have a picture of it that we can. We can at least bring at up the in yeah. a sec. Um, we'll uh, we'll dig that out in the, and bring it up in just a second. So for the people who don't know what we're talking about, yep. what is this gun that they talk about? Um, for those that maybe haven't reached the end game, for instance. Well, that, they, yeah. that could be entirely true. Uh, what skills, weapons, skill tree, what are some of the things in there for the gunner that are unique and interesting? So the gunner is all about like sustained fire and this fantasy of standing out in the open with a big minigun. Right? Okay. So we made a fold-up minigun. We made sure that you get some cool talents that allow you to tank damage. We... Um, yes, uh, I would love to take a look at the photo of the gun. That would be really cool. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's do it. This that all, one, that's all that very one, last that one. That fine. is exactly the one. So I think this is the kind of the core yep. of what the specialization revolves This is around. what you'll be lugging around. It's serious business. I really love, um, I watched it today on Nick's, Nick Two's stream mm -hmm. um, after he'd un unlocked it, which was a, an epic event in and of itself. And um, you would think the reload would be like some crazy belt that you'd have See, to See, the, the whole thing is just about this ability to stand and shoot for a long time um, with with this thing. It's mm -hmm. not about standing out in the open and reloading because this is our first instance of a heavy weapon. Mm -hmm. You can't shoot this from cover. You can't roll and sprint while this is out. This is a, this is a mm -hmm. heavy weapon, right? So we wanted it to just be something when, when you bring this out, that's a special moment where you just get to stand and spray bullets and so the reload is mercifully short on it actually i i did not expect the pump action just like <laughs> and then just keep railing. going <laughs> yeah i know it's <laughs> it's it's in in service of the game so another aspect is like okay so i'm i'm there i want to knock some people down with this continuous fire so the skill is a new variant of the pulse mm -hmm. that does a, like a banshee scream or like a banshee pulse in a cone in front of you okay hold up Yep. Before we move on to the, oh, yeah. the next stuff, people notice in the screenshot 13.2k Oh yeah, but that's because damage. it's a 1,000 RPM as well. Like, okay. this will do a lot of good damage. And th this was also a screenshot taken at World Tier 1, so... Okay, and yeah. also, this is on... What build was this on? This is a... You this is on your today computer. just on okay. my machine, so okay. I can't guarantee that all of the numbers are, like, accurate to endgame. Okay, good to know. All right, so take, take this with a, a grain of salt. But... High but RPM. if you do find it lacking on the PTS, tell us. All right, yeah, exactly. So this is on the PTS. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's important to note. Uh, people who have experienced it, watched it, you know, played it themselves, now is the time to give feedback on it. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's really cool that we can put this up on the PTS before it's out live because yep. if we can, you know, do those final tweaks to make it extra special, <laughs> Absolutely. then, uh, then yeah. that's really cool. All right. I'll allow you to move on now. Right. So other pieces of the kit. Other pieces of the the gunner puzzle. You so reminder the, stuff. the specializations have a gun, uh, their own grenade type, which for this is a riot foam grenade, so you can mm. stick someone and then shoot them, mm -hmm. which is good. Uh, they have a this banshee skill, which like will cause the confuse status effect, which is normally associated with tear gas, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in a cone in front of them, even if things are behind cover. So NPCs will stand up and be confused and stuff like that. Uh, so that you can then mow them down. Okay. Uh, in PvP, it doesn't do confuse because that's frustrating. So it does sure. disrupt instead and like causes people to not be able to use their skills. So it's not quite as punishing in PvP. Okay, it's good to note the differences. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, um, is, there, what, what's the, is there an audio indicator for this happening? So when someone's about to launch it, you'll see the warning on the ground of the area where it will happen if you're in PvP. Okay. Um, because it has a little bit of a startup, mm -hmm. and you can also press and hold it to extend its range if you want to aim it and like hit people further away. And then you'll see that cone for longer if you're in PvP. But there's an element of it being telegraphed a bit. Yeah, that's definitely telegraphed. Only in PvP, does the AI pick up on it? The AI PvE? doesn't pick up on it. Right. They, they don't know what this is. This is new tech for DC, right? Like, they've never seen something like this. Interesting. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. No, I like that. It's cool to have um, that trade-off of what is, in some cases, I guess, a skill shot that you can make the trade-off of, you know, do I want to get it out nice and quick? Yep. Or, yep. Right, I'm going to be really interested to see uh, exactly how yep. that works. So we mentioned the the banshee, the riot foam grenade. Mm -hmm. um, it's got some cool talents as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we can bring up a, just a view of the tree. I think that could be fun. That could be cool. Because the tree, yeah, that's the one. Because the tree has changed 
for the other specializations as well. Mm. Uh, I see down in the bottom left all the right, different Right, that's weapons, the big right? thing. So any specialization can pick any weapons to spec into, and but they can't spec into all of them. So you're no longer bound to specific weapons with specific uh, specializations. We felt like it was inhibiting build creativity a little too much. Man, you're giving me more choices? More choices. Oh, dude. Um, so I, I think that'll be cool because some things, <laughs> cool. some new builds will be uh, possible. You still see in the very d bottom left mm -hmm. that if you do spec into the weapon that we feel is associated with this spec, that's how you get the weapon mod unlocked. Interesting. Right? So there's still some flavor there, but it doesn't prohibit you from making, you know, an AR build with any spec. Okay. Am I right to assume that for the Sharpshooter tree, which I, yep. I know best. To unlock that scope, you yeah. have to be... Yeah, on the marksman. Okay. Yeah. All right, good to know. So I, th I think that's a good middle, middle ground between keeping the flavor of it, but like opening up the meta for new builds. Okay. I saw some other things, because, again, thanks, Nick, for going through the tree earlier on your stream. Oh, yeah, I saw the, that. Um, there's a few things in there that I found really interesting. There was some reload speed stuff. Right. Do you remember? On the was? gunner? Yes. We have a, I think we have a screenshot of that, the coupler. Oh, okay. One. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a sec. Yeah. How, how does that? So work it's all the, the theme. I think, that, uh, I think so. That is the coupler. Right. So the theme of this is just one example of the talents that you get on the mm -hmm. gunner. The theme of the gunner is spraying a lot of bullets, providing your team with ammo. So like the, the passive team benefit is that you actually grant ammo replenishment to your team by just mm -hmm. being in their team so that everybody will get ammo. You'll get like reloads faster. It's all about, it's all about lots and lots of bullets, right? Yeah. The, the question is with this one. Mm -hmm. it, there's three tiers of it, mm -hmm. right? So it goes down to the third reload. That was the question. Yeah. Is it that you would go to 100% and then 50%? I mean 150%? No, uh, it, increases, it decreases the cadence. So every third reload is faster. Good. Once it's maxed out. Thank you for clarifying that. Mm. Um, there was some. I'm now. I'm trying to remember the tree myself. Oh, sorry. There was another one in there that I found interesting that I can't remember now. What else was in the tree? Uh, so there's one where if you're standing still, you get. Uh, I think it's. We have a screenshot of that as well. Okay. But anyway, th when you're standing still, you get bonuses because it's all about like this big gun where you get to stand still and shoot, right? So, it's uh, it's about this heavy mechanic. One of the things that is in the tree I remember now. Mm -hmm is the special ammo for your group if you get a kill and you Without keep your finger on the, the trigger, right? Yeah, so, I mean, every spec has some talent that grants SIG ammo to the group, mm -hmm. which will, will be a segue to the how we've changed SIG ammo drops as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one is keeping your trigger down. Like, if you get two kills with a trigger down without releasing the trigger, mm -hmm. you're going to drop SIG ammo for your group. You but it's not going to drop SIG ammo, it's going to increase the new SIG ammo meter that we'll talk about in a second. Okay, cool, because I don't know about this yet. Yes. Um, the... I'm assuming that you... Do you need to be... How does it work with kill crediting? Do you need to get the, fill, the killing blow? Or is it... Do you need to participate in the so, kill up to a point? Actually, I think if we could put up... I know it's a low-res screenshot, the ammo bar, just as, okay. as a visual aid while we're talking. This one? Yeah, maybe the next one, because it it's filled a little bit. Okay. Uh, no, the previous one. That's more <laughs> legible. Yeah. Okay. okay, great. So next to your, uh, you see the little bar next to the O5, mm -hmm. the, the vertical bar? Yes. That fills as you kill things or proc these talents, everything that we associate with signature ammo from the trees traditionally. On all specializations? On all specializations have this. This is a new way to get signature ammo. We recognized that it wasn't fun to not understand when it was going to drop, how often it was going to drop, what you had to do. Mm -hmm. So we revamped it completely. When this bar is full, your next kill will drop signature ammo for you. No drops. What? I mean, but, but like there's no drops in the way that we know them now? There's no random drops. When this bar is full, okay. it will drop signature ammo for you. Right. This bar is filled when you kill things, when your group mates kill things, when your group mates proc their, uh, you know, the talents that are in the tree, or when you proc your talent, like, you know, sharpshooter needs to do headshots. But it will still physically drop in the world and you have to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, okay, it will. Right. But the point here is that you have this meter and you know exactly when it's going to happen. You see how fast it fills. You can see when your groupmates affect your, the pace at which you get signature ammo. 
Uh, no longer RNG behind the scenes, very predictable, very like gamified, if you will. Okay. Can we talk about the buff to the uh, Tech 50? Yeah, we can. So, like, the tree you saw and everything is part of, we can't release a new spec that is as good as it can be mm -hmm. without updating the other specs. So that's why the sure. other specs got the tree changes. We know that the Tech 50 didn't live up to some of the sniper builds that were out there, so why ever switch to it? Uh, now it will. Like, it just buffed the damage quite substantially. Um, same with the uh, crossbow. It didn't crack armor, like, reliably mm -hmm. on heavies when you were in a group. So we kind of fixed, try to fix that as well. Okay, cool. So that will be more reliable to crack an armor, the armor piece that you hit on uh, NPCs. Um, can we talk just quickly uh, mm -hmm. about mod changes and skill balance? I know right. there are other people working on those, but what do you know about that? So uh, gear mods, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we knew that there was this flaw that the generic mods that exist at low level, and some people have even found them at high level, yeah. they fit into all the slots so that naturally everybody used damage mods in all the slots, even mm -hmm. though they were low. So you had to make a level 19 character and farm and all of that. And that's not fun. So we made generic slots just fit generic, m generic mods just fit generic slots. So they won't, don't work anymore on high-end gear. Okay. And we know that's disappointing to some, like it was unintended behavior, but like to sort of compensate for that, now it's a like-for-like -like system. If your mod is red, it fits in a red socket. No more system or protocol division of, of slot types. Well, that's quite a big change. It is a big change, but it sort of compensates, because now you can take you know, your weapon damage mods and put them in any red slot, mm. and the system protocol thing doesn't exist anymore. So that's going to sort of open up the... It's a bit more streamlined as well. It's a little bit more streamlined, easier to understand, more visual. Um, we think it's for the better. Um, kind of makes it makes up a little bit for what you lose in those old blue mods as well. So it's on the PTS now? Yep. Okay. Good. So feedback on these things is always yep. appreciated on the forums. Uh, skills balance. Again. Right. That's this is something we're working on that yeah. we're not seeing so much on T4. Mm -hmm. Um but we've stated publicly that we're working on this. Our intent is to make sure skill builds our goal is to make sure skill builds are mm -hmm. as awesome as weapon builds or tanky builds. All right. Um.